Hi, welcome to the video that accompanies lesson one for Robot Basic. When you first start Robot Basic, you see the screen that's shown. If you accept the user agreement, you get a much bigger screen to do editing. Let me pull that into this small window. We're only seeing a little portion of the screen so that it's enlarged enough that you can read it here. You'll notice there's an area here that allows you to type in your program. If you just start typing or hit the backspace, that will erase. When you press this green arrow, this green triangle here at the top of the screen, that will run any program that you've typed in. Let's go ahead and type, press that. It'll run this blank program and open the screen, and I'll move it for us into the area. This is our terminal screen or output screen. There is a X in the far right hand corner that will be off the screen. So when I close it, we go back to our entry screen where we can edit our programs. The terminal screen actually has an output of 800 by 600. We're only looking at a small portion of that, about 600 wide. So in this area that we see here, where when we start to get an output, realize that we've only got maybe 600 by uh, 400, 450 or so that will be actually available to us. Let's write a program that will draw a line from the upper left hand corner, which is 0, 0, that is x and y, x being the horizontal, y being the vertical. So we'll start from this corner and draw it down to some area, let's say down in this area, which would be maybe 500 across. Remember, we've only got 640 across total. And, and then maybe 300 down. So let's write the program that says, I want to draw a line. Notice I've capitalized the word line. That's not necessary, but it makes it a little more readable. A line from position 0, 0 to position 600, 300. If we press the Run button now, the terminal screen will come up and we'll see that line. If we'd like it to be a little shorter, let's say around here, we can close this screen and go back and say I want it to maybe be 500 across. Let's take a look at that. Notice it shortened up a little. If we go to the beginning of that line and press enter and open up a space above, we can do things like I want to change the line width. and make the line width 10, for example. If I run the same program again, notice how much wider the line is. We can all do, also do things like set color. There are some predefined colors. Let's try red. If we run the program again, notice the red line. If we want to continue this line, we could put in, I want to do a line 2. That continues it from the last point, so we only have to specify one xy coordinate. In this case, let's draw that line to the left, directly to the left. So maybe we'll go back to 300, which is only 300 spaces across instead of 500. And we'll keep it at the same vertical position. So we'll keep that also at 300. Had an extra comma in there. If we run it again, notice it comes over and then goes back. If we want it to go further here, let's try that. If we want it to go further, instead of Going back to 300, we could go back to 200. Notice the difference.
Now, if we want to continue and go from the last point back up to here to produce a triangle, let's go back to 0, 0. So we'll do another line, 2, and go back to 0, comma, 0. Notice that we've produced the entire triangle. What if we wanted to make each of the sides a different color? Once we've set the color to red, it will stay red until we change it. So, for example, if I put a blank line in between the first two line statements and put set color to green, what do you think would happen? Would it be just the next line or both of the lines? If you chose the next two, you're correct, because once we've set it to green, all remaining statements will be done in green until something else happens. Let's go down to the next position. In this case, let's do the line width and make it very wide, let's say 20. Notice that that last one is very wide, but it's still in the color green because we didn't specify something different. Let's go back. Right after we set the line width, if we were to do a set color, and set that color to blue, run the program again, we see the first red line, the next green line, and then the big thick blue line. Notice the program simply does everything sequentially. If you refer to chapter one in the Robot Basic Beginners book, you'll see many more things, but hopefully this will help you get started.